this is David again and uh, I had one uh, Mormon comment that um, was interesting uh, the Mormons use the phrase every fiber of my being <laughs> I don't know what the hell a fiber is but I don't know if that's a, a an atomic uh, <laughs> stage of development I don't know if it's a health in the navel marrow in the bones I don't know what the hell uh, I hate you with every fiber of my body now I guess if you don't hate someone with every fiber it's not as bad if you go I hate you with half the fibers of my body they go oh well you know no it's not so bad but the Mormons are so funny they have these tricky little phrases that means a lot to them uh, and and you as uh, non-Mormons uh, don't hear them you don't hear them so one of them said uh, he hates me with every fiber of his body uh, you know, I wanted to write him a comment back, like I said, and ask him, could he just hate me without any fibers in his body? So anyway, that's okay. He He's welcome, welcome to hate me. And he doesn't even know me. <laughs> I don't know him. So I'm not going to say, I hate you with every fiber of my body. I don't know you. I don't know your life or your philosophies or whatever. So anyway, I just wanted to... Uh, tell you the phrase fiber of my body <laughs> and when you get up in testimony meeting um, it adds to your testimony when you get up and you say I know that Joseph Smith was a true prophet of God with every fiber of my body and I used to look in sacrament meeting at the person and go well how do I know if it's every fiber I can't see all the what the hell is a fiber I've had <laughs> <laughs> some anatomy classes in college and I don't remember fiber except in cereals <laughs> for <laughs> regularity <laughs> so is it every fiber of his BM <laughs> I don't know <laughs> God, they have such funny funny phrases and funny ideas on how to secretly communicate so the non-members don't know with every fiber of their body they know something is good or something is bad now the other one is <laughs> shit. this is beyond a shadow of a doubt now this is typical Mormon talk among themselves they won't tell you and they won't write it and uh, they do that on purpose so they have plausible deniability that it doesn't exist but um, I, I know the church is true um, beyond a shadow of a doubt. A doubt. Now, <laughs> I know what a doubt is. A doubt is, oh, gee, I'm not sure this is right or this is wrong. That's the doubt. But how does it have a shadow? <laughs> Do you take that out in the sun and you look down and there's the shadow of my doubt? It's silly, silly, stupid stuff. But they believe it. It's part of their doctrine and part of their uh, psychology and every shadow of a doubt, beyond every shadow of a doubt. So maybe the doubt has several shadows <laughs> when you put it into the sun. I don't know. Maybe it's a moon beam, a shadow of a doubt. Okay, so now they hate you with every fiber, <laughs> which is really lots of hate. And uh, they know it's true beyond a fiber Oh, without them beyond a shadow of a doubt. Okay. Now, I got another comment, and I just want to end this with the second comment, because some of these comments are, oh, they're getting a little bit lighter from the Mormons. <laughs> they're not death wishes, and they're not, uh, you know, just uh, nutball stuff. Uh, one of them said that he wrote me, uh, and like I told you, and he hated me with uh, every fiber of his body. That's okay. I, I can be hated. That That is not... Um, anything but free agency true free agency they can't say that in the mormon church they can say it to me outside the mormon church so maybe that's a relief to the guy okay another one wrote to me and this one is interesting to me if you'll read my or watch my video on um president uh well mitt romney trying to be president and saving the uh, constitution that is hanging by a thread with his priesthood boy that hit some tender areas in many mormon communities 
That is a secret nobody knows except those of us who have been in the church for a half a century. The Mormons believe that the Constitution will hang by a thread, and I think they think that's happening now, and Mitt Romney is a priesthood holder, and he'll be the one coming in to save the Constitution. They don't want you to know that. His campaign, if uh, that information got out, you know, Obama would be a second-term president. Um, this comment from this Mormon was very interesting because this is the way they're trained. They have that tape playing on the right side of their head, which the cult has programmed for them, and no common sense over on the left side of the head. And basically, he said to me, um, this is the worst video I've ever seen. <laughs> That could be true, and I'm not saying it wasn't. It may have been the worst video he ever saw, and that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to get into Hollywood. <laughs> or Salt Lake City, Hollywood. So anyway, um, he said, uh, you know, that is the most undocumented video I have ever seen. There it is. There's the Mormon way. The right tape playing the common sense not plain and he's saying there's no such thing as the doctrine of a mormon elder or the priesthood coming in and saving the constitution that is hanging by a thread deniable plausibility boy this is cult 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 up to the eyeballs he's first of all lying or he hasn't been in the church more than 10 years uh second of all uh he's saying it's undocumented so it can't be true well there's a lot of things that are undocumented that are true. And then there's a lot of things that are documented that aren't true. Now, well, that's just wisdom in uh, living life. But here's the interesting thing to me, is when you confront uh, the LDS people with their own ideas and their own doctrine, their head twists around <laughs> like the girl in The Exorcist waiting for the tape to play. And then the tape says, well, there's nothing written on that. Okay, well, there's plausible deniability. And uh, they don't write a lot of their religion, and they don't write a lot of their policies and their procedures. Why is the financial situation of the church totally secret? Why are the general handbooks of the church, um, I had a copy of 11, it was as boring as 10, uh, why are those hidden from the members of the church, That what the bishops and the the, the state presidency can do? So there's no transparency in a cult. You know, the cult prophets, uh, all are friends of Jesus, and Jesus says don't show them uh, how much money you're making and uh, the other uh, doctrines that are outrageous. So be careful of what the Mormons say, and what they say in public and what they say in private are two different worlds. Um, this has never been my purpose, and I've said this many times on my videos, um, to pull someone out of the Mormon church or to help someone into it. You know, that's a decision that each uh, human being makes on their own. I did get a comment. I don't, I don't remember if it was from a third world country or not, but um, I, I did a video on ask your missionaries these questions. And this young lady was taking missionary lessons. And um, she asked the missionaries uh, those questions, and the missionaries didn't have sufficient answers. And then she looked at a few more videos and uh, she canceled her baptism date. Now, that has never been my purpose. But you know, the truth and the facts are the facts and the truth. If people hear all of the Mormon church and they want to join it, good grief, who would stop them? Let them join it. But when you deceive people and you don't tell them the whole story and then you say, now you owe us your, your gross income 10% the rest of your living days on this earth, I say no. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to say no. You tell them the whole story. You tell them about the Leahona. You tell them about Joseph Smith's 14-year-old wives. You tell them about the Mountain Meadow Massacre. You tell them and tell them and tell them and then they're informed. And now you can say, and when would you like to be baptized? They say next week, great, great. They'll make a good Mormon if they hear all that and still accept that Jesus, uh, this is what Jesus would have done. So it was not my purpose to uh, stop, but here's one uh, baptism that evidently was stopped by just information. The, the internet and information, that's what's causing the Mormon church to uh, implode. 
So, watch what they say. They have two vocabularies, one to the public, one to themselves. They do believe that Mitt Romney uh, is the answer to all the problems uh, and the Constitution is hanging by a thread. I haven't noticed that. I saw the Constitution. Oh, in Constitution Hall, I can't remember, there in Washington, D.C. It never looked like it was hanging from a thread to me. It was kind of under a glass uh, display case. So anyway, uh, you guys have a good day. Appreciate you. Bye.